you guys hey everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to the channel on this channel we try to cover all things reality tv news and gossip we talk about mama june the mama june bunch we do sister wives we do teen mom um and all the the characters of these shows we try to kind of keep up with what's going on with their lives on the show outside the show and here lately obviously we have been covering the mama june family due to everything going on with their family um, as you guys know, Mama June's oldest daughter, Anna Marie Cardwell, also known to us as Chickadee, she passed away on December 9th after battling stage four adrenal carcinoma cancer for almost a year. She left behind her two daughters, Caitlin, who was 11, and her daughter, Kylie, who was eight. And the sad thing about this is um, she actually passed away on her daughter, Kylie's eighth birthday. Super, super, super sad. Um, trigger warning, you guys, because what we're going to be talking about, I mean, honestly, it triggered me watching it. I was like, oh, my goodness. I, like, is this really what's happening right now? Are we really? Is this really what we're doing right now? Oh, um, since Anna passed away, there has been a lot of division between the people that even kind of keep up with this family. Because June did keep Anna's oldest daughter, Caitlin, who is 11. Um, despite the fact that Caitlin has a father in her life, Anna was married to a man named Michael Cardwell for several years. When Michael entered into the picture, he was the only dad that Caitlin knew. Um, but yeah, after Anna passed away, June kept Caitlin and Kylie went to Michael. Now, I did have somebody in the comment sections, section asked, like, well, why didn't he just ask for Caitlin? I think he ha has asked to get Caitlin. Um, I think he has tried to get Caitlin and that was not granted. And then June went and filed for emergency temporary custody and she got emergency temporary custody due to the fact that um, in her filing, she said that, you know, Caitlin was her grand granddaughter. Her mom had passed away. She doesn't have a dad that's active in her life. Her dad has never been active in her life and there's nobody else that um, has any interest in taking Caitlin in. So the judge was like, okay. However, there will be a court date coming up. I, I want to say it's in February, but I have to double check that where Michael will be able to go and say, hello, I'm an interested party here. And that's my daughter. You know, I've raised her since she was eight months old and he will be able to supply all the proof of the fact that he is her father. Um, and in my opinion, Michael should have custody of both of the girls. So they are not split up. Um, Seems like it would just be a better atmosphere for Caitlyn. And I mean, the video that we're going to show, that we're going to look at today just goes to prove even more as to why June and her family, in my personal opinion, that th that little girl does not need to be with them. Um, I think, was it last night? It, it, last night or the night before, Pumpkin was on TikTok Live. That's kind of what they do. June, Justin, Pumpkin, Jessica, they all go live on TikTok. Uh, every day sometimes multiple times a day i will say though i've checked several times a day and it must have been the night before last because i started checking yesterday and today and none of them have went live in like two days so i don't know what's going on that is highly unusual for this family not to be live every day and sometimes multiple times a day uh, so the fact that they haven't went live I, i'm kind of like what is happening here is something happening you know what i'm saying um, but yeah, so Anna passed away on December 9th. They had her services, like a celebration of life on uh, December 13th, which was just a few days after she passed away. They had her cremated, right? And what was told is that with her remains, she would be cremated and her daughters would get some of the ashes. Her husband would get some of the ashes. June would get some of the ashes. And from what it looks like, from what they're showing on TikTok, it looks like June got the bigger portion of Anna's ashes because June got an urn that's like this big. The girls got like some little ones from my understanding. They got some little necklaces. I'm wondering, does Eldridge, did Eldridge even get any of her ashes? Like how much did he get? Because in my opinion, Eldridge should have got the big urn and June probably should have got, you know, a smaller urn. But either way, either way, she was cremated. They have this big urn uh, of her ashes, and they took the urn with them to Disney because they went to Disney. They took um, Caitlin to Disney for Christmas. 
And Pumpkin did say on a live, we're, we're, we have the clip. We're going to show the clip. And if you're watching on replay, the timestamp for the clip will be in the description box below. But either way, when they were out in Disney, for some reason, Disney employees heard that they were spreading Anna's ashes throughout the park. I don't know if that's true, you guys. I don't know. I know they went live a couple of times while they were at Disney. So I don't know if maybe they mentioned something about it and people reported it. But a worker at Disney did stop them and was like, you guys cannot be spreading ashes on the park. Like you will get banned for life if you do that. They claimed that they were not doing that. To my knowledge, I don't think they were. I, I, I don't know. Um, but either way, either way, night before last, Pumpkin was on a live. They are all staying in an Airbnb. Pumpkin, Josh, all of Pumpkin and Josh's kids, Alana and Draylen, June, Justin, and Caitlin are all staying in the same Airbnb. So when they go live, like sometimes you can hear June over here yelling as Justin's on a live over here. Um, but Pumpkin went live and she literally, sh this is not the first time that the family has shown Anna's urn. They have shown the urn several times, which whatever. But this time Pumpkin opened it and even like smelt it. She was like, Oh, Anna smells good. She's like, oh, no, Anna stinky. Oh, stinky, stinky, Anna stinky. And then, like, her baby Bentley was there, and apparently Bentley was smelling, and Bentley was like, oh, and I'm like, what am I watching right now? Even people in the comment section was like, dude, this is wild. Like, this is, this is wild. I mean, I guess that's one thing to show the urn with the ashes in it, but to open the urn and snip it, like, what is going on here? You know what I'm saying? We're going to watch it. We're going to watch the clip, you guys. So let me go ahead and play the clip and then we'll talk about it. Um, and just trigger warning, almost any time I show clips of them, there will be cussing. They, they do curse a lot. I don't know. I don't remember for sure if she curses in this one, but she might. Trigger warning. They're going to be showing ashes, talking about ashes. I mean, you see like the bag in there. Um, this is wild. Let's watch. Anna. Her mail good? <laughs> oh, God, Tinky, Tinky, Tinky. Oh, her Tinky. Um, anyways, Anna is always in here, y'all. In a bag that's Sealed. literally like sealed with the same tags we got her in. But, I mean, she did come with us, but we're not like spreading ashes. So, anyways, we're sitting at that place, right? We'd all just got, um, I don't. We had all, Boba just snipped it. He's like, oh. yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, so look, me and Anna are gonna be chilling on live with y'all right now. So, anyways, um, we were sitting there, and then all of a sudden, like the big manager guy comes over with a security guard, and he pulls Josh's mama to the side because Josh's mom, um, Josh's mom had come down for a few days. She come down with us on Saturday, and then she left like early later, uh, earlier this afternoon. Anyway, yeah, this what's up, Anna? What's good? What's good, home girl? Miss your doll. Um. Oh what? Anyways, um, we were sitting there, and he pulls Josh's mom to the side, and he's like, "Are you with the honey baby people?" And she's like, "Yeah, that's my son. That's my son, and um, he's married to like her daughter-in-law." Oh, her daughter-in-law, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, and he goes, well, come here. He pulls it to the side. He says, well, we just got um, a news alert pretty much that you guys are okay, spreading ashes throughout the park of um, your late sister. And I was like, what? I'm he was like, you're night. gonna be like mama's out there crying and stuff. Like, oh my god, it's so crazy. <laughs> um but like but it was two weeks. He was to the literally day. talking about trespass. Anna. So let, let okay. Um I, you know, I don't I'm not like the gatekeeper of nobody's life. I'm not one to tell you what's right from wrong. I mean, so I hate to say this, but that's weird. That is just very weird. And to me, I'm like, how much are we going to milk? Like, here's the thing. When you, when you have a loved one that passes away, it, it, it's difficult. Uh, people grieve in different ways. People find their outlets to grieve. Social media may be theirs. 
But I'm just like, is nothing off limits with you guys? I mean, y'all are literally opening the urn. Look at the, oh, she smells stinky, stinky, stinky. Like, I'm just over here like, this is not normal. This is very wild. And I'm sitting there wondering, how does Eldridge feel about this? How are her kids going to feel? Maybe right now they might not feel a type of way, but as they get older, are they going to be like, wow, that was very disrespectful for my aunt to open my mom's ashes on camera for millions of people to see and then smell it and say to my mom, smell horrible. Like what? They're ashes. It's ashes. Like it's not going to smell that great, but it's just super disrespectful to your sister. And then even the like, you know, as she's talking, somebody comes in and asks, is that Anna? And she's like, yep, this Anna right here. This right here. Miss your dog. Miss your dog. I'm like, there is no sadness in your voice when you're saying this. Like, it's just like, this is your prop for TikTok to make you some more money, to get you some more views. Like, it's almost like shop value is like the thing right now. And I wonder because I was watching some of the TikToks that June did, you know, right before Anna passed, as Anna passed, after she passed. And when they, when June did the video, the TikTok, wanting TikTok to do its thing. So the country singer would come sing at Anna's funeral. Who who was it? Who was it? The country singer that they wanted? June literally got on TikTok like two days after Anna passed away and was like, so I had to go do a few things today. And, you know, there's this song that I really like. I've liked it since it since it's come out. Um, I like the artist that 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 sings the song. Anna was a little bit of a fan of him as well. And we really want him to come sing the song at Anna's funeral. She's like, so TikTok, do your thing, you know, do your thing and see if we can get this message to him. I don't remember the artist's name, but it, it did get to the country music singer and he couldn't be there because Cooper Allen, thank you, Cooper Allen. He couldn't be there because he was out of town filming like a music video, but he did send in a video. But one of the things that June said when she made that video, she said, um, you guys have made all of our videos go viral the past few days. She mentioned all of their videos going viral in the past few days, like the, the days where they, you know, the beginning of them talking about Anna and how she's, she's not doing well. <sighs> She's not doing well. That that video took off. The video where they announced she passed took off. Any video about Anna took off. And I just wonder if she saw that, recognized it, and was like, hey, let's continue with this. The more, you know, any video that I do where we talk about Anna or we can show her ashes or, you know, it's getting a, a ton of views. So I don't know. It just kind of made me wonder if they're doing these things for like shock value now to bring in more revenue for them on their TikToks because. Any videos like this is going to get a lot of views, probably a lot of um, gifts, which is how they make money as well. But yeah, I'm just like mind blown. Obviously, people over on Reddit was like, this is wild. Um, someone said, no respect for the dead. I have my dog's ashes on a shelf with a little vase of flowers. I never pick up the box and handle it, let alone open the box. Same, I took out some ashes to put in a little necklace urn and just handling and opening the box had me bawling. It's disgusting parading her ashes around like this. Poor Anna and her girls having to live with this. Um, most people will be grieving over the fact that their loved one is gone and all they have left is some ashes. I'm more bothered by it than her family seems to be. The urn is pretty, but her manhandling it around like that makes me scared that Anna's remains will end up in a vacuum cleaner. Wow, this is pretty vile and disgusting. What is wrong with them? No respect at all. It's hard to even put into words how insensitive, disrespectful, and horrendous this is. Poor Caitlin. I lost my mom through cancer as a child, and I cannot even imagine the trauma and confusion Caitlin is dealing with, given the absolute insane circus she is living in. People need to send these clips to the companies that sponsor the show and ask them if this is what they're backing because I know 
If they do, I will not buy any of their products. It's gross and disrespectful. What in the hell? I have my dog's ashes on the bookshelf. I don't touch it. My mom has my dad's ashes, and I sure as hell don't touch that neither. What is wrong with these people? Um, I have my dad's ashes, and I find it odd that they're opening it up and showing it off like a badge of honor. That's pretty gross and sad. I'm sorry. Was she snipping the ashes in the beginning, acting like they smelled? Uh, and I think they do. Yeah, I mean, they're ashes. I think they probably have a smell. And it's probably somewhat of like a burnt smell. I mean, hello. But I don't know. This is just wild. Um, I've been going through a lot of clips of the family lately just because, um, you know, and I come across another clip that I thought was interesting. So you guys know that Caitlin is living with Mama June, but Michael Cardwell is fighting June for custody. He did file, um, you know, he, he filed court documents against June to try to get um, custody. And June actually filed for temporary custody and she got it. Now, one thing that I noticed is I was going back, looking over the court documents and everything, and June actually filed her petition for emergency temporary custody on December 15th, right? Um, which was two days after Anna's celebration of life funeral ceremony. June actually put up a TikTok that day. So the day that they went and filed for June to have custody of Caitlin, June did a TikTok while they were out and about. And she even says, um, today is like the first day that we've been like out and about since everything happened outside of like the funeral. Um, she doesn't say that they went to the courthouse and filed for custody of Caitlin, but she names off some other things that they did. But she shows Caitlin. She shows Caitlin and Caitlin looks so sad in this clip, you guys. And it makes me wonder, is Caitlin sad because, well, they just went and filed for custody and she got custody and Caitlin now knows she's going to be separated from her sister and she's not going to get to go live with her dad. I don't know, but let's, let's Caitlin, look, and, and you know, it could be that Caitlin was sad because her mom passed away. I mean, that very well probably is what it is, or maybe it's everything. It's her mom just passed away. Now her grandmother just got custody of her and that means she's not going to be with her sister. Let's watch. Hey guys, come along with us as we get out for the first time. Since the funeral, yes, I look a hot ass mess. Do I care? No. I'm sitting at Longhorn. I got me some lobster and uh, shrimp soup with the wild west shrimp. Justin's over there eating a salad. And Caitlin's over on her iPad. And we got to go to Walmart. We got to go to Ragram Shoes. And we got to go to a few errands. Caitlin's over on her iPad. And we got to go to Walmart. We got to go to. And like I said, hey it very well. Could be, you know, that was a day where things were kind of weighing heavy on her. Her mom had passed. But this was also the day that Justin, June, and Caitlin went to the courthouse and June filed the paperwork to get emergency temporary custody of Caitlin. And in the paperwork claimed that there's no other interested party. There's nobody else that would come before June to take Caitlin. There's nobody that deserves to have Caitlin. There's nobody that will want to have Caitlin. Only June. And I'm like, I don't know how June could get custody of Caitlin when June can't even take care of herself. God, for, you know, if if Justin was to leave or pass away or anything like that, June's going to be stuck with a kid that she can't take care of. How If June and Justin separate or get a divorce or he goes to jail or something and Caitlin rides the bus to school, but she gets sick and she needs June to come get her, how's June going to go get her? She can't, she, she can't drive. She can't see. Which I, I also heard that Justin doesn't have a valid driver's license either. The person that told me that said they they think. They're like, I don't think he does. Um, so he, he possibly could, but they're like, I, I don't think that he does. Um, God forbid something happened in the middle of the night and Caitlin needs to be rushed to the ER. Well, if Justin's not there and just, so I'm like, if you can't take care of yourself and you're not the, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, he, and somebody asked in the comment section, has Caitlin seen Kylie since Anna passed away? Once. Caitlin and Kylie have seen each other one time, and that was at the funeral. So the last time Caitlin and Kylie had seen each other was on December 13th. Mind you, these, these two little girls are together every day, 24-7.
and maybe Uber, but I just know where I live. We don't have Ubers. So I don't know. Like, I think they kind of live. I know I was on a, um, on one of Justin's TikTok lives the other day, and he was talking about how they have nothing where they live. They don't have trash pickup. They have nothing. So I know if they live in a, in the country like I do, they may not have Uber, you know? Um, so some places don't have Ubers. And I'm just like, if June can't take care of herself without somebody there helping her, then she doesn't need to have a kid. Who did Anna want her to go with? So this was what my understanding of it was, right? I've been told by a few people that know the family that Anna had said from the time that she found out about the cancer that if she was to pass away, she wants the girls to go to their dad, Michael, with Eldridge having visitation. I was also told that Anna had something drawn up to say that, but she never got a chance to sign it. And I don't know why she didn't get a chance to sign it. I do know that when you have an illness, if you're under medication, if you're taking medication, you cannot sign legal documents under the influence of anything. So maybe like whenever she had it drawn up, she was taking medication and she was just kind of waiting to get to a point to where maybe she could legally sign it. Um, but she never got to that point. That, that's what I've been told. Um, now, June said something on a live the other day. Oh, Anna, say, June said, oh, Anna wanted me to have Caitlin. She said it on the show. It'll be on the show. They recorded it for the show. But I'm like, Anna moved in with you the last three weeks of her life. Her husband did an interview a week after she passed away. And he said the last few weeks of Anna's life, she was in a lot of pain and under a lot of a lot of pain medication. She had been taking a lot of pain medication. So I'm wondering if when she moved in with you, taking the medication, if you convinced her to allow Caitlin to stay with you. Because I just cannot, for the life of me, believe that Anna would want her daughter separated and her daughter left with June when Anna knew what June did to her. Anna and June were estranged the majority of Anna's life. Caitlin is 11 years old, but literally went like eight years being estranged from June. She knew June the first like two years of her life, and then there's like this big gap, and then like the last year of her life. Not, And I'm talking about Caitlin. So Caitlin knew her Gigi when she was a baby up until like two years old, and then there was like an estrangement, and then, you know what I'm saying? Like, So there's like been this like, long estrangement and I just cannot see Anna saying yeah mama I want you to keep Caitlin but not Kylie just Caitlin knowing that June stepped back left her kids with a man that should have never been alone with them the man are Anna and then when Anna told June June was like no you're lying why are you doing this to me why are you doing this to me Anna how dare you? He would never touch you. How dare you lie like this? Anna literally talked about that on the Dr. Phil show that was aired like five years ago or something like that, maybe a little bit longer. So I'm like, there's just no way. Not Anna in her right frame of mind. There's no way. There's no way. I don't, I don't see it. I, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't think Anna was close to any of them until, you know, she, I think Anna tried to get close to them there at the end because, you know, well, that that's her mom and those are her siblings. So she was like, if I'm going to pass away, I, I at least want to make amends with everybody. And that's what she did. So anyways, you guys, does anybody have any questions? We'll watch the video one more time of pumpkin smelling. It, like I say, this to me, like if, if, I'm not a judge, but if I was a judge and I had Michael in front of me and June in front of me, and I'm watching all these clips of this family and they're doing things like this and they're yelling and they're cursing at Caitlin, I would be like, yeah, no. Caitlin needs to go live with Michael. He seems a lot more stable. Uh, he's not in the limelight. and the sister is over there. Get this child away from these people. Um, that's what I would do. 
Um, Sharon, one thing that we have to remember is this happened really quickly for Anna, right? Anna found out she, that she had cancer in like January. And then in like February, she found out it was like stage four. She immediately started doing chemotherapy. So she was taking medication and things like that. So she had something drawn up, but never got to the point where she could sign it. And I think it's because she was never in the frame of mind where she legally could. And it went very quickly. 10 months, you know. I think she probably thought that she had longer. I think that, and I've seen people say that. Like, um, I've seen people say, you know, when you have terminal cancer, you still think that you have longer. So you don't handle things like this because you're kind of in denial about how long you have. Or, you know, it moves so fast, you're never not on medications. So you can't, and if you're on any type of medication or if you're undergoing any type of treatment, you cannot sign these things. Oh, Tiff, best belief. Don't, I'm sure. I, listen, I'm sure Michael and his lawyer is probably keeping up with everything, I would have to imagine. All right, so we'll watch it again real quick. Her mail good? <gasps> oh, guard, tinky, guard, tinky, tinky. Oh, her tinky. Um, anyways, Anna is always in here, y'all, in a bag. That's literally, literally like sealed with the same tags we got her in. But I mean, she did come with us, but we're not like spreading ashes. So anyways, we're sitting at that place, right? We'd all just got, um, I don't, we had all, Boba just snipped. He's a, oh. yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, so look, me and Anna going to be chilling on live with y'all right now. So anyways, um, we were sitting there and then all of a sudden like the big manager guy comes over with a security guard and he pulls josh's mama to the side because josh's mom um josh's mom had come down for a few days she come down with us on saturday and then she left like early later uh, earlier this afternoon anyway yeah this what's up anna what's good what's good at home girl miss you doll um anyways um we were sitting there and he pulls Josh's mom to the side and he's like, are you with the honey baby people? And she's like, yeah, that's my son. That's my son. And um, he's married to like her daughter-in-law, oh, her daughter-in-law, whatever. <laughs> Anyways. Um, and he goes, well, come here. He pulls her to the side. He says, well, we just got um, a news alert pretty much that you guys are okay, spreading so ashes throughout the park of um, your late sister. And I was like, what? I'm he was like, you're everybody. gonna be like, mama's out there crying and stuff. Like, oh my God, it's so crazy. <laughs> um, but like- But it was two weeks He was literally day. talking about trespass. Okay. Anna. So yeah. I don't know. And maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm weird to watch this and be like, this is so horrible. That is disrespectful. That's gross. That's that's not okay. Like, I don't see, like I said, and here's the thing. I know people grieve differently. But it does come to a point to where, like, people can see that that's not grieving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People can see that it's something different. And maybe they need counseling. Maybe they need to talk to someone, maybe they're in denial about it. And that's why they can just play around with the urn and be like, what's up, big dog? You know, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, to me, it just seems very disrespectful. And the Grateful Mama 420, that's the way that I feel as well. I'm like, are they like milking this, you know, for everything that they can get, for the views, for the, I don't know. And I'm like, the people, there were people in the chat that was like, um, wow, this is weird. Wow, you should not be doing that. Um, what the heck are you doing? But there was also people that's like, what's up, big dog, Anna? Hey, Anna. <laughs> and I'm like, am I the one that's off right now to think that this is like extremely like not normal to do something like this? You know, I mean, I don't know. And yeah, that's what I was saying about like grieving is personal. Um, everybody grieves differently, but you know, it's like if somebody, if a mom loses her, her child, like Casey Anthony, okay. Like Casey Anthony, I'm not comparing them to Casey Anthony. I'm just saying 
Casey Anthony's daughter goes missing, but she's in the club doing like dancing on the, you know, and she don't report her missing. Well, can we be like, well, everybody grieves differently. I mean, it gets to a point where it's like, are they grieving though? Because it seems just so not what they're doing. I don't know, you know? I don't know. Yeah, most people that I've read that have ashes, they like they're they're put up and they don't mess with them. So I don't know. But I don't know. You guys let me your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm gonna continue to kind of keep up with the family because I am gonna continue to keep up with this custody battle that's happening between Michael and June. Also, I have been getting questions on my TikTok because I put up a TikTok about this and somebody asked about why Michael did not adopt Caitlin. I will be doing a video about that very soon as to why that never took place. It was discussed and I have been told why that never happened. So I will be doing a video about that as well. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure your notification bell is on so you are um, notified of when I do go live to talk about that. Um, and yeah, I may do that after this one. I don't know. Uh, there's, I try not to make like video back to back to back to back to back about the same people. But, like, there's a few. I've had a lot of pe people wanting me to do a video about June allegedly snorting something on camera. Um, June did respond to that, so I've contemplated doing that. Also, um, you know, uh, I want to do a video about why he never adopted. Um, so, I don't know. We may do a couple today about just this family. Um, you guys, let me your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.